And for more on the story, we're joined now in the studio by Seyran Atesh. She founded a liberal mosque in Berlin where men and women pray together and women can also lead prayers as an imam. She also initiated the idea of the so-called mosque tax. Thank you for being with us this morning. Ms. Atesh, why do you think the funding model, model in Germany for mosques should be changed? It should be changed because we have a huge influence from outside, from foreign countries, what kind of Islam is educated in Germany. This influence has to be cut. The influence is controlling. All the education is controlling the mosques, is controlling the way how we teach Islam here. Now, we what have... Is that bad? This is bad because we have this influence made that Muslims, a lot of Muslims, are not able to integrate themselves or their families here in Germany or Europe. We have all these problems all over Europe. It's not only a German problem. We have a big influence here in Germany, especially from Turkey or from the Muslim Brotherhood. So we have to cut this influence to give the Muslims a, ch a chance to have or to, to call Germany as their home country and to think about new ways of education. This is the motivation behind the idea of the text. The motivation is to cut the influence from outside when it comes to the imam's education and to teach them or when it comes to the prayers in the mosque. Okay. So looking at Germany's Muslim community as a whole, it's sizable. Mm -hmm. um, is there a lot of support for reforming the way mosques are funded within that community as a whole? I think a lot of Muslims are not happy in the situation, what we have when we talk about Islam. So we talk mostly about violence or terrorists. So there's a need that we have to change these pictures. That's the reason why, in my opinion, people start thinking about new models. We have to start to think about the integration of Islam in Germany in another way than the associations did in the past. You say to change, to change the way Muslims are perceived in Germany? Is that what you're referring to? Both things. On one side, we have to change the way how people look to Islam and how the Muslims themselves have the influence here. They have to stand up themselves. They have to take care about their own religion here in Germany. So Muslims in Germany should do something for Islam in Germany. So do you see a consensus building long term for, for your position on this? How do you go about convincing Germany's more conservative Muslim community to support your idea? The first step should be to cut the financial influence and the next step uh, should be to bring together the plurality of Islam on one table and discuss about something like a tax. We cannot take the idea of the church tax, what we have in German law, and put it on Islam. Mm. This is not possible. Mm. So we should take a, a thing about new models. And my opinion would be, or my offer would be to think about a kind, you, you know, we have the five pillars of mm. Islam. Mm. And one of the pillars is a social tax. So we should name it different, maybe, then the public can understand it better. Okay. Sayran Atesh, uh, thank yeah. you so much for talking with us today. Pleasure.